Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Alright people, I'm on a roll here. I've got a lot of this painted. I'm just about done. Someone was asking me about my rudder and my stab. It's right there. Servo covers right there. Wings are done. Elevate tours wings. I got my silver sprayed there. I got my black nose done. Canopies in the house. The engine covers in the house. Just about everything's painted. Now I got to start getting her a little dirty anyway. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I know. Countdown is on, baby. So, what I'm going to do is back here on this, these speed brakes here. I'm going to airbrush me a little bit of black on there. Trying to get it in the crack itself. So I can sand it some of it off. And we don't want to get too concerned about spreading too much black back here. And I've been I've been looking for some uh, scale pictures. I mean, real jets. Uh, you know that it's got them sharp teeth in them. I've got some pictures, and they evidently wasn't real common. But uh, everywhere you look now, everywhere you find one, they got shark teeth on them. I think they just did that because it was cool. But oh, um, Joe, my buddy Joe, sent me some pictures. Of one with a shark jaw. Speaking of pictures, John got them up on our website from uh, Phoenix. B1modelprojects.com. Go to photos. Check out uh, all the pictures he took of Phoenix. He got the once in a lifetime shot, man. You know, I was flying out there with a big uh, Skymaster F4. I actually followed him out on the taxiway. We was both booking, man. I was probably going, that's close to full throttle. And I came up below him and, and right behind him, right on his six, right down the runway, about 10 foot off the deck. And I see John standing there. I said, this is it, John, this is it. And he got it, but he cut off the nose just a little bit. But it's still, it's a good shot. 
So he's got a bunch of good shots. And a couple of people asking if I flew the F-16 there. Oh yeah, we flew the F-16. We just uh, didn't get it videoed. <laughs> One time, J-5 was out there chasing it all around. He landed it. Well, after I landed, we went to uh, look at the video and he forgot to push the record button. <laughs> So, and then I think he had to leave before we flew it too much more that Saturday. I don't know. For some strange reason, it just didn't get recorded. Sure had fun flying it, though. I was honking it. I actually opened that airplane up. I went full bore. And, uh... That thing was moving, man. I have never really opened it up and flew it around. I told John, I said, here I go, John. I'm going to crack it open. He goes, oh, yeah? He looked at it. He goes, you're about half throttle now. Man, just cruising speed. That thing flies great about half throttle. And, man, I kicked that thing wide open. Uh, man, no trim change or nothing. I took a bunch of the weight out of the CG, out of the nose, you know, and I think that really helped it. It was turning really good, real light on the up stick, and uh, landed nice, and uh, did really well. T-45, I flew it a bunch of times. You know, if I was going to this silver, uh, you know, use it for my color, you cannot wet sand this silver, man. It'll just streak all up. But when I sand it now, you know, I'm going to go one direction and, and put some streaks in it. It's going to look really cool. But silver is metal flake. Remember that. All, all silver is metal flake. Well, when I'm buying silver to do an airplane, I look for the smallest fl flake I can find. I want that powder. You know, all silver is metal flake. And it's actually kind of hard to paint silver. It's, uh, it's just got to be a series of mist coats, man. Otherwise, you know, I... Because, see, you want, your, you want that silver to lay down flat. You know, and the, the flake, you know, each flake is going to lay down. When you spray that silver real heavy and it starts to pull up and get dark spot, what that is is that metal flake starts standing up. It's moving. When you're seeing that big pool of metal flake you just sprayed and that you see that metal moving, when they end up standing up like that, and that's why it don't look right. But you got to go just a series of mist coats and let it build up, and uh, and then it, it'll look good. But I I had a hard time with silver at first, man. I painted a couple silver airplanes and they just looked terrible. You want this to cut? You get a little scuffed up looking. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Uh-oh, run out of time. There we go. That's looking a little better.